Welcome to this training session. In this session I will show you a number of options how you can use LiveMaps version 3 to monitor your data center. I will show you how you can visualize your racks in combination with the uh, monitored items in Operations Manager, how you can create a floor plan and import that into Operations Manager using LiveMaps, how you can share your views and some additional information. Here you see some of the examples uh, which we, we will cover in this training video. I will start with showing you how you can visualize your uh, rec images with live maps. You need to create your um, rec images with third party tools like Visio. And you can import the images into live maps uh, using the map wizard or setting it as a drawing background or just copy and pasting the image onto a drawing view. And you can use the hotspot feature to link an area on the image you have imported with a monitored object. So let's first see how we can get a, a rec that has been created in Visio into live maps. As you see, I have uh, multiple racks in this video drawing, but I only want this rack to be exported to live maps. Just select the shape you want to export and save it as an image format. In this case, we will use the PNG format. Ok, we are now in the Live Maps Authoring Console and I will first create a folder where we will store our rec views. To import the rec image, start the map wizard, browse to the uh, image file we have just created. Ok, now <coughs> we are going to add the objects that are discovered in Operations Manager uh, to the rec image we've just created. In this case I don't want to see the uh, standard image that comes with the object and I want the label to appear on the right side. To align the objects, select them all and use the align function. Ok, we are now, <coughs> we are now going to use the hotspot function to associate an area on this image with the actual object in Operations Manager. So when you open this view in the Operations Console or the Live, map, live Maps Web Console, uh, when people select this area, it will automatically be associated with this object. Another way of transferring the uh, rec image from Visio to Live Maps is by just copying, pasting it on the, on the drawing view. So let's first create a new drawing. We call it Rec1B. Switch to Visio. Select the shape you want to copy. Re return to Live Maps and just paste it on the drawing view. By default, uh, 
the drawing view has snapped to grid enabled. If you want to disable it, you have to go to the page setup, and then you have more control over the uh, image placement. As you can see, this rack has a blade chassis, which is kind of difficult to map it uh, with it, the Ops Manager objects. Uh, what you can do is return to Visio, copy and paste the, the blade chassis, and get an enlarged version of the blade chassis image and paste it into the live maps drawing. So let's now add the monitoring objects to the uh, to the view. Okay, let's now see how we can create a, a floor plan, uh, which we can use to uh, consolidate all the racks in the data center. First, again, you need to create a, a floor plan in a, in a third-party tool like Visio or AutoCAD. Uh, then you need to save it as an image format and import it into live maps using the map wizard we've just seen or setting it as a drawing view background. And you can use the nesting feature to link uh, a specific area on the floor plan with a rec view we've just created. Okay, I've created an example floor plan with Visio. And now we are going to save it as an image format. Choose the PNG format again. So for the floor plan we will not use the map wizard, but we will look at the uh, set background feature of the uh, live map drawing view. To, to set the background of a drawing view we choose page properties, background image, select and we select the image we've just exported from Visio. Ok, let's first disable the snap to grid. And zoom in a little bit. Ok, let's now add the racks we've just created in the previous step. We hide the label and increase the state icon size. So I've finished placing the other racks on the uh, on the floor plan. And because the state image is already covering the area of the rack on the floor plan, we don't need to uh, use hotspots in this scenario. Of course, we can also use the um, nesting feature of live maps to create a geographical map uh, where we can place the data center on. So, let's first create a map for the United States. Ok, and we can now just simply drag and drop it on the uh, on the overview map.
So let's quickly look at some options how you can share your data center views with other people in your organization. You can use the Microsoft Operations Console, which will give you full access to all Ops Manager functionality. Or you can use the Live Maps Web Console, which will also allow you to link directly to Ops Manager Web Views that will enable you to uh, do some more diagnostic and recovery actions. And the views can also be linked directly into a portal. So let's start with the Microsoft Operations Console. Um, open the US view. From here you will be able to drill down into the uh, data center floor plan we've created. And from here you can drill down into the rack image. And as you will see when you select the objects, when you select the object you have full access to all standard features that come with Microsoft Operations Manager. And from here you can open all kinds of standard views that come with the Microsoft Operations Manager. So another option is using the Live Maps Web Console. And you can browse to the view. Uh, besides running the, the full web console, you can also directly link to a specific view uh, with or without the alert pane in the bottom. So in this case I want to link directly to the data center floor plan. And if you copy this unique URL, you can uh, integrate it in your portal or send it via email. From here, you will are also able to drill down into the next level and from here you are able to run the standard uh, operations manager web views so if you want to look up the performance for this specific server it will um, jump to the uh, Microsoft operations console in the context of the uh, selected object If you want some more information about Live Maps, you can uh, look at our website. If you're looking for visual stencils, I've listed uh, two good places to start, Visio Cafe and VisioStencils.com. If you have any questions about this training, you can just send an email to support at Thank you.